hello in this topic <coughs> we'll be, we will be dealing with the uh, determination of wavelength of monochromatic light by newton's rings as you are aware with the fact that newton's rings are produced when a plano convex lens of large radius of curvature is placed on the plane glass plate then a wedge shaped air film is produced between the lower surface of the lens and upper surface of the glass plate at the point of contact between the lens and the glass plate thickness of the film is zero and it goes on gradually increasing as uh, from the point of contact outwards on either side when monochromatic light is incident normally on the lens surface then light reflected from the upper surface of the film interferes with the light reflected from the lower surface of the film as a result an alternate dark and bright concentric circular rings are produced with their central spot as dark which are known as newton's rings pattern here is that here is an experimental arrangement for obtaining newton's rings in the laboratory where s is the source of monochromatic light l is the focusing lens uh, then there is a glass plate which is inclined at an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical so that incidence of rays is made normal onto the wedge shaped air film formed between the lens and glass plate now as the incidence of rays is made normal so the rays after reflection will retrace their path which can be seen with the help of a microscope so the newton's rings pattern can be observed with the help of a microscope then wavelength determination as we are aware of the derivation for a radius of nth dark ring uh, so the radius of nth dark ring rn is given by rn square is equal to nr lambda where you know that n is the order of dark band r is radius of curvature of the plano convex lens and lambda is the wavelength of monochromatic source of light so we can write this expression in terms of diameter as dn square by 4 is equal to nr lambda so we can write this as dn square is equal to 4 nr lambda let us write this as equation 1 similarly uh, we can write in analogous with this equation we can write uh, equation for diameter of any n plus pth dark band or dark ring as dn plus p square is equal to 4 times n plus p r lambda let us write this as equation 2 So equation two minus one it implies that d n plus p square minus d n square is equal to four times n plus p r lambda minus four n r lambda, which is equal to four p r lambda. Let us write this equation in terms of wavelength as lambda is equal to d n plus p square minus d n square upon four p r. So by using this formula, look at uh, the look at the terms which are involved in this formula where dn is the diameter of any nth dark ring, d n plus p is the diameter of any n plus p th dark ring. So p is the difference between n th and n plus p th dark ring, and r is the radius of curvature of the plano convex lens. So if you know the radius of curvature of the plano convex lens, then by measuring the diameters of n th and any n plus p th dark ring, you can calculate the wavelength of monochromatic source of light, which is used to obtain the Newton's rings pattern in the laboratory. As an example, suppose the diameters of sixth and sixteenth dark rings are determined experimentally. then uh, p that is difference between uh, 16th and 6th dark ring will be equal to 10 and hence we can write the formula in terms of wavelength as lambda is equal to d16 square minus d6 square upon 4 into 10 into r here dn here we have considered the nth dark ring as 6th dark ring n plus pth dark ring as 16th dark ring so 16 minus 6 difference p is 10 so by using this way you can calculate the uh, you can calculate the uh, wavelength of monochromatic source of light which is used in the newton's rings pattern <clears throat> here this figure shows the newton's rings pattern which is obtained in the field of view of the microscope where you can see that the, there is a central dark spot which is surrounded by alternate concentric dark and bright circular rings So this central dark spot is known as zeroth order dark band then it is surrounded by first bright ring then first dark ring second bright ring second dark ring third bright ring third dark ring and so on so they are alternately situated so in order to <coughs> calculate the wavelength of monochromatic source of light you have to first uh, move the micrometer towards left hand side and align this vertical cross wire of the micrometer on the say first dark ring towards left hand side then again you have to move it towards right hand side and again you have to align on the first towards right hand side so the difference between these two positions will give you the diameter of first dark ring 
you note down this then let us f again do the same experiment in order to note down the diameter of say third dark ring so you move the micrometer towards left hand side focus the vertical cross wire on the um, third dark ring then again move it towards right hand side and focus it on the right hand side and measure the diameters of fifth third dark ring and first dark ring then by having the formula that is lambda is equal to dn plus p square minus dn square upon 4pr you can calculate the wavelength of monochromatic source of light.